loyalty. I will give my loyalty to the United Kingdom. To the United Kingdom. And respect its rights and freedoms. And respect its rights and freedoms. I will uphold its democratic values. I will uphold its democratic values. I will observe its laws faithfully. I will observe its laws faithfully. And fulfill my duties and obligations. And fulfill my duties and obligations. As a British citizen. As a British citizen. Citizenship means becoming a member of a country or a group of countries which gives you certain rights and responsibilities. Now, prior to 2004, those people successfully applying for citizenship had to go and swear their oath of allegiance to the Crown before a solicitor or a justice of the peace. The government, recognising that this was a very private affair, wanted to make it more public and more celebratory. So therefore, this afternoon, we'll be holding a citizenship ceremony here in Oxford, where citizens will be required to swear an oath of allegiance in public as part of a group ceremony. And we're hoping this will make them feel part of the wider and local community. For me, being part of uh, the UK is quite significant because there's quite a lot in this country which uh, has to be really envied, particularly the democratic situation that we have here and uh, a sense of security and stability and also what this country stands for, integrity and you fight for what you believe in. And I'm kind of really honoured actually to take on a responsibility to part, be part of this, a citizen of this country. So. I think it's quite a serious uh, uh, day and at the same time it's quite an honourable day as well. I've been received really warmly and it makes you feel that you're really welcome and I think it is actually an important landmark in our lives that uh, from being an Indian citizen we also now become a British citizen. There are three key stages to the ceremony. There are speeches made by the superintendent registrar and the Lord Lieutenant or one of his deputies. There is then an oath of allegiance and a pledge of loyalty made by the citizens. And then we have a presentation of a citizenship certificate which is issued by the Home Office and which is presented by the Lord Lieutenant. The ceremony concludes with the singing of the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, could I invite you all to join me in the council chamber, please? Thank you. I would like to formally welcome you all here today to Oxford for this citizenship ceremony. The citizenship ceremony is a formal acknowledgement and welcome to those who wish to join with us in full membership of the British nation and citizenship of the United Kingdom. Congratulations to you all on attaining British nationality. I hope you will continue to engage with your fellow citizens locally and to contribute uh, to our community in Oxfordshire. Today, as part of this ceremony, I'm going to ask you to make certain promises and to swear an oath to the Sovereign that you will be a faithful citizen. I will also be asking you to make a formal and public pledge to that effect, stating that you will be a loyal subject and observe the laws of this country. I will uphold its democratic values. I will uphold its democratic values. I will observe its laws faithfully. I will observe its laws faithfully. And fulfil my duties and obligations. And fulfil my duties and obligations. As a British citizen. As a British citizen. I'm now going to call each of you in turn forward to receive your certificate of citizenship from Hugo Brunner. Thank you.
Thank you. Congratulations, Beatrice. Thank you. I have a little granddaughter called Beatrice. And oh. She's j just as beautiful as you. <laughs> That's your certificate. forward we hope that you enjoy your new status as British citizens and that it enriches the lives of yourselves and those around you both in your families and in your local communities you have made an oath and a pledge that you will be a faithful subject to the Queen and a true and loyal citizen of the United Kingdom It, it is wonderful, both solemn and important. It, it was also somewhat fun as well. It wasn't all serious and that was really good. And, and it made it a special moment for us, both in terms of our family, in terms of our extended family, and being with other people too. It's such a mix of people too. I think that makes Britain great. No, this is my happiest moment. <laughs> I'm now a British citizen. <laughs> I think it's been a, um, a wonderful afternoon. Um, we, of course, live in a shrinking world, and it's very, very important that we should engage with, with each other in a friendly uh, and cooperative manner. And this ceremony represents the future. Mm -hmm.